What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Miss Tila, also known as Tila Tequila. Tila, everybody's really worried about you. All your fans are worried. The Tila Tequila girl, she actually died. I'm a bisexual. I was never bisexual. Gay for pay. Tila ain't here. This, this is Jane. I'm Jane. What? I came back. I came back. What? I, I will try to turn back to white after I get, I mean, back to Mexican. I don't know what I'm going to be, but hopefully I'll be Asian. You Asian and you a half Asian and Nazi? Well, they can keep trying to ban me all they want, but you cannot ban God's word. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the Let's Get Into It podcast. Today, we are diving into Tila Tequila, which if you haven't heard of Tila Tequila, don't worry, I will get you caught up to speed. But I grew up watching Tila Tequila on TV, causing chaos. Now, Tila was introduced to the world through MySpace and reality TV. In this episode, we're gonna dive into Tila Tequila's career and what happened to her after she left reality TV. We're also gonna talk about Tila's engagement to the Johnson & Johnson heir, Casey Johnson, which ended tragically. And despite Tila Tequila getting herself banned from social media, she is currently on Twitter. <laughs> even though she's not supposed to be. But we'll get into that later in this episode. According to reports, Tila took off for Los Angeles, and in 2002, she became Playboy's Cyber Girl of the Week. This year, it's time to treat yourself, literally. Are you the friend who always splurges on fancy coffee, the extra leg room on the flight, or indulge in a massage? Well, when it comes to your health, why settle for anything less than the best? I want to introduce ZocDoc, your ticket to finding and booking top tier doctors who are prioritizing your well-being. ZocDoc isn't another app, it's your personal healthcare concierge. You can rest assured knowing you are in good hands. No compromises here, just the best healthcare options tailored to your needs. Don't wait any longer to find your perfect doctor. Visit ZocDoc.com slash Sloan and download the app for free today. Take control over your health and book your appointment with confidence. That's ZocDoc, Z-O-C-D-O-C.com slash Sloan. Now, 2002, try to think back like, what, 22 years? The internet was a different place, and to be a cyber girl of the week was a big deal because a lot of people were tuning in because there weren't a lot of, like, website options. So if people were going to, you know, look for adult content, they're going to go to Playboy. Tila was also the first Asian cyber girl of the month and went on to pose in a number of pictorials for the magazine. But the biggest boost to her career was social media, and when MySpace came around, Tila Tequila, Tequila was a hit. She released a couple of risque songs and a handful of bikini pictures posted to her page. She gained over 30 million views. In 2006, Time Magazine described her as the queen of the social media platform. So to see how Tila did so well back in the day, it is interesting to see how the entertainment industry destroyed her as a person. It kind of reminds me of like Amanda Bynes. We've heard a lot of talk about Nickelodeon and we see Amanda Bynes on social media, but we don't see Amanda Bynes. It's not, I mean, you know, it is Amanda, but it's not the same person we saw before. And I have that same experience when I see Tila Tequila now. Hi, this is Tila Tequila from A Shot at Love. The real me is so... <laughs> Now in 2006, Tila Tequila launched a website called Tila Zone, which offered a variety of content for use on MySpace and other social networking sites. A 2006 Time profile highlighted her influence on the platform. Now her introduction to music didn't go smoothly because in 2007 she released a song titled I Love You and her first EP. However, she faced legal issues with the Saturday team, leading her music to being removed from most retail platforms. But 2007 was was a different year for Tila Tequila. At this point, she kind of established a presence in entertainment. She's big on social media. She's got her own website, kind of a brand going. I mean, shoot, she even has music if you can't, you know, 
If you can't buy it, you probably can find it somewhere. But now in 2007, on October 9th, MTV premiered their show, which was a replica of The Bachelor, titled A Shot of Love with Tila Tequila. Now, I wouldn't compare this to The Bachelor. I mean, it's a dating show, but it is, a, you know, a different level. And it also was different for that time because in 2007, you know, LGBT people weren't as popular as they are nowadays, and Tila had 16 men and 16 women. So it was an openly, you know, gay or, you know, bisexual person who was putting this reality show out there, and it was really big. But I want to let you all know that I'm a bisexual. Despite the conservative people hating this show, it ran for two seasons. And it also led to a lot of growth in reality TV, especially with dating, because it led to a few other shows being created. For example, Double Shot of Love with DJ Polly D and Vinny. However, some people question whether Tila Tequila's time with these men and these women were legit. In 2018, Tila confirmed the rumors with her own confession in a deleted video saying, as a matter of fact, I was never bisexual. The truth comes out, I was never a lesbian, I was never gay, it was all gay for pay. Ooh, when I was filming that reality show, I had a boyfriend for the entire two seasons. Everything that I believed and I saw on TV as a kid was an absolute lie. Let's hear what Tila has to say about all of this. Ever since I became born again, I really don't think about the past stuff or whatever, because Jesus literally makes you a new creature. I'm literally like two different people. I, I am literally a clone. This person that you see is not the same person as the Tila Tequila girl that you remember from the past because she actually died literally and spiritually and all that. I was never bisexual. Dun dun dun, dun the truth comes out. <laughs> I was never bisexual. I was never a uh, lesbian. I was never gay. Uh, it was all gay for pay. As a matter of fact, when I was filming that reality show, I had a boyfriend, um, you know, and... I had a boyfriend up for the, the entire two seasons of that show. I was only acting gay for pay. Like I said, her show went on to run for a couple seasons, but in 2010, Tila decided to revamp her persona and adopt a new stage name called Miss Tila. She released her first single under this alias titled I F'd the DJ. To promote her new EP, she embarked on a tour, but while she was on tour, she wasn't greeted nicely. I mean, there was one performance in particular where there were bottles and cans being thrown at her while she was on stage. Following the incident, she pledged to pursue legal action against the events organizers and promoters. But we never saw any of that happen. Here is a clip from her performance. That time, Tila Tequila performed at the Insane Clown Posse Festival called The Gathering of Juggalos, and the crowd completely hated it. I can't imagine why anyone would think it was a good idea to book her at this venue. I mean, she couldn't be more opposite than any other performer there. If you don't know who Tila Tequila is, she's a reality star from the early 2000s. She had her hand in multiple things, but mainly she was a TV personality that started putting out horrible music. I mean, let's be honest here. This stuff really sucks. I don't know a single person that had her album. Today, I'm pretty sure she's not clean and sober. And her physical appearance is so much different. It's pretty interesting and definitely educational for people in recovery. I still can't get over the fact that some people thought this was a good idea to have Tila Tequila perform at this festival. Now, maybe that performance wasn't her best, but after this, she kind of went away. And then we saw a much different Tila Tequila appear. In the last decade, Tila has faked pregnancies, created her own religion, okay, converted to Judaism, proclaimed her love for Hitler. And all of that is in no particular order, but you can see a switch in Tila when her fiance, girlfriend turned fiance, Casey Johnson, the heiress of the Johnson and Johnson empire, which means she's got a lot of money, tragically passed away. Now, Tila might claim that she's not bi, but she in 2009 was engaged to Casey Johnson. The couple only knew each other for about a month before getting engaged. Casey unfortunately passed away in December of that year after failing to take her diabetes medication. Many of Casey Johnson's friends accused Tila Tequila of trying to cash in on her passing. Here's a clip from back of the past when all this was going down and it's weird because it involves Nikki Hilton and a another woman who goes to this home and steals the dogs from Tila and takes a bunch of clothing away. 
it's not really explained what was going on here, but it's like right after Casey Johnson passed away. So a little bit chaotic. This is a weird clip where after Casey Johnson's uh death um, bijou and nikki hilton come steal her dogs from tila tequila ransack this wardrobe rack and take off nick you got a dog no stand back get off the roadway get off the roadway get off the roadway nikki can you say anything while i'm here right now you i was important to you you got a dog too why are they taking the dogs why are they taking the dogs tila Tila, do you have any, uh, are you going to try to get the dogs back? They're putting the dogs out. As in down? So from my perspective, I don't think Tila was supposed to be at that home. I also don't think that woman's going to put the dogs down. If she did, then go to hell because they were cute looking and looked healthy and happy on the dog bed. I'm sure Tila was just saying anything, probably not coping well with the situation and clearly scared of the police. Now, in March 2012, Tila Tequila nearly died after suffering a brain aneurysm and a drug overdose. Tila, at the age of 30, suffered a brain aneurysm in the middle of the night and to cope with the pain, she took two bottles of unspecified heavy prescription drugs. Tila threw up all over her bed after overdosing and she felt like she was dying. They claimed she was screaming for help and in desperation, broke her bed bedroom window and attempted to jump out her friend came to rescue her and found her convulsing in the bed people <gasps> mm, i would never wish that on anyone that sounds terrible like a brain aneurysm you're just mm. I, I actually had an ex-boyfriend when i was in like high school he's such a creep but his mom passed away of a brain aneurysm so sad Ugh, so sad. The source said it was terrifying for Tila and death was knocking on her door. She was in two hospitals for the span of a week and is still not in perfect health, so she's going to check in an outpatient program. Because of this incident, the source says that Tila may have some permanent brain damage and still isn't able to speak properly. But there are conflicting reports because other reports claim the overdose wasn't accidental. Tila's roommate told police that Tila had tried to harm herself all week and there was more drama after she was released from the hospital Monday. Tila's manager was worried something was wrong and called 911. Cops went to go check on her and she refused to answer the door. She reportedly called 911 to find out why officers were at her home and explained she couldn't answer the door because she was in a wheelchair. Tila said, I can remember feeling like the bones were popping out the side of my head because the pain was so bad. I took some medication and tried to go for a nap, but when I woke up, I was vomiting. After her 30-day program, Tila said she felt better than ever. Honestly, I feel like I've been reborn. I got excellent treatment. I did a total detox of all substances and medication. This was really tough, but I managed to do it. Now, it does seem like the passing of Casey Johnson led to Tila really getting into this space. I mean, before she had thoughts of harming herself, she, uh, you know, announced that she was going to be a surrogate, I guess, for Casey Johnson's brother and his wife. She also announced that she suffered a miscarriage as well. Now, it doesn't surprise me that Tila is revisiting her drug use after a traumatic incident like this. I mean, back in 2010, she announced that she had a prescription pill problem and would appear on VH1 Celebrity Rehab 4 to address the issue, but she dropped out of the show, with her reps claiming she never officially signed on. Now, when you have mental health issues that go untreated, you find different ways to cope. And I don't know how accurate this is, but Tila claims that she suffers from dissociative identity disorder. She claims that her Twitter 
Paige was hacked by her alter ego, Jane, who she described on her MySpace page as crazy and who wants to kill her. The same year she was set to appear on Celebrity Rehab 4, Taylor posted a video on her website. She had blood running down her arm. She claimed that one of her multiple personalities, whom she called Jane, slit her wrist. She said, I don't know what happened. People don't believe I have multiple personalities, but this morning, the last thing I remember was falling asleep because I was so tired. I blacked out and now I just woke up from all the excruciating pains all over my body. Now that I'm awake, she has left, but I have no recollection of what has happened to me. I'm just crying now, hiding in my toilet. My entire room is in shambles. All the new furniture and glass are broken. I don't know what's happening. So clearly, this is a woman who is struggling and has no support to go and help her out. I mean, I wonder what her family situation is. Yo, this is your girl Jane in the building. Remember Jane? Y'all, y'all remember me, right? I tricked y'all. I tricked you, mother Cause Tila ain't here. This, this is Jane. I'm Jane, bitch. What? I came back. I came back. What? Y'all remember? What? You don't remember me? Do you remember me? Tila is knocked the f out somewhere. She had a, she had a long day. You know, interviewing and sh but you know, now that she's sleeping, I come out and play. What? Tila ain't here, so if all, all y'all motherfucking Tila army bitches or whatever trying to come in here to off the Tila tequila, sorry, son, that ain't happening. Because I'm Jane and Tila's sleeping right now. Whether she is mentally ill or not, I would say even Jane, her alter ego here, um, seems like they're on drugs. But then there was a switch, because two years later, she surprised everyone with the news of her newfound faith. At the time, she expressed that she couldn't wait to be officially Jewish. She said, I just feel like the Jewish people have such a beautiful way about them. But however, it appeared that she had a change of heart the following year. Despite previously devoting her life to the Jewish religion, she came out as a Nazi sympathizer. Which is a big switch from announcing that you are now Jewish. Now you're the opposite of Jewish. In 2013, she took a controversial turn when she started using her social media accounts to post anti-semitic comments she even wrote a personal blog titled why i sympathize with hitler part one true history unveiled where she professed to be the reincarnation of the nazi leader Tila started a relationship with musician thomas whittaker in 2013 but ended due to his financial issues she announced her pregnancy on her facebook page in april 2014 and welcomed her daughter on november 16th that same year now no one really cares about what Tila is up to because she was pretty much canceled by social media after all these hateful comments. She posted a photoshopped image of herself standing in front of the Auschwitz concentration camp wearing a Nazi armband. Tila describes herself as the alt-right queen and an adamant Trump supporter. She tweeted, women who complain about Trump saying grab her by the P word are e are tards. <laughs> Do people will still use that word seriously? Um, But she continues, because I love getting grabbed by the P word, LMAO. And there are numerous photos of her shared on social media. You can see she is hanging out with people who are not on the right side of history. This led to a lot of issues with Tila securing work and entertainment. Tila actually got suspended from Twitter and kicked off of Celebrity Big Brother UK. It's because Tila proclaimed that Hitler wasn't the bad guy. She also gave herself the nickname Hitla, like Tequila, Tila, Tila, Tequila, t Hit, Hitler, Hitla. That is so just it is chaotic. What's really sick about this is not only the fact that she is a Nazi, but she's also proudly posting these clips of her and her children and teaching them that they are Nazis as well. I mean, I feel like CPS needs to step in. I, I will try to turn back to white after I get, I mean, back to Mexican. I don't know what I'm gonna be, but hopefully I'll be Asian. Asian, like my, my come here, come here, my Asian children. Well, well you, 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 are, you Asian and you are half Asian and Nazi. So you are half Nazi Asian. Annabelle, come here. Annabelle's actually part German. She got a fourth German in her. Her, uh, what do you call it? Her grandfather is German, like, her grandfather is full blood German. <laughs> so she, we got some uh, Nazi babies over here. Uh, so maybe I'm gonna make some black babies and then I'm gonna make some Asian babies. So. No, don't make black babies. Don't, make Asian babies. Don't make black babies. <laughs> make Asian babies. Oh, the Lord has spoken. Okay, I won't make, I won't make. 
make black babies all the black babies. I will make you black babies, okay? Okay, uh, only, uh, only the people who like black babies, the poor black babies. <laughs> What makes me really upset about that clip is that those kids have no idea what they're saying and what their mother is teaching them and how purely evil that is. I mean, they always say that, like, you know, this behavior, this hate, it's taught, and there you go, is exhibit A. So this type of behavior led to her being booted off of Big Brother. Tila Tequila only spent one night at the Big Brother UK house before being kicked off the reality show in 2015. Criticism erupted regarding the former model after she posted a picture of herself wearing an SS uniform and standing in front of that concentration camp. The people at Big Brother UK claimed they did not know about Tila Tequila's controversial views. Quote, when they were brought to our attention she was called to the diary room for a discussion and producers then removed her from the home i mean i don't know how producers could have missed this because she made it so blatantly obvious i feel like they wanted her on for the controversial factor but realized that she was way too far gone somebody at channel 5 finally googled tila tequila and probably didn't like what they found the reality star was ejected from Celebrity Big Brother after just one day when the show's producers discovered her admiration for Hitler. You know what? You Brit boys could never handle me. A spokesperson for Channel 5 said they didn't know about the views Tila Tequila had expressed on social media in the past, which is kind of hard to believe because the internet. Tila Tequila notably posted a photoshopped image of her in front of Auschwitz wearing a swastika armband in 2013. The post and her subsequent Facebook suspension was widely reported in entertainment news outlets and really should have been a red flag to the Channel 5 execs. This year, it's time to treat yourself, literally. Are you the friend who always splurges on fancy coffee, the extra leg room on the flight, or indulge in a massage? Well, when it comes to your health, why settle for anything less than the best? I want to introduce ZocDoc, your ticket to finding and booking top-tier doctors who are prioritizing your well-being. ZocDoc isn't another app, it's your personal healthcare concierge with tens of thousands of highly rated doctors and verified patient reviews. You can rest assured knowing you are in good hands. No compromises here, just the best healthcare options tailored to your needs. Forget about the long waits and awkward phone calls. With ZocDoc, you can instantly book appointments online with doctors who accept your insurance and treat your specific condition. Plus, the typical wait time, just 24 to 72 hours with same-day appointments available. Don't wait any longer to find your perfect doctor. Visit ZocDoc.com slash Sloan and download the app for free today. Take control over your health and and book your appointment with confidence. That's ZocDoc, Z-O-C-D-O-C dot -O -O slash Sloan. There is no excuse that they put her on TV and said they did not know. Yeah, really? Well, Tila did offer a public apology. She said her behavior stemmed from her long battle with mental illness and drug addiction. Now, I think it's apparent that Tila has had her issues with drugs, and I think that it's important when people do apologize. The question is, is you know, is she sane? Does she really mean it? It seems like her behavior up to this point is so erratic that I don't really believe anything she says. This Tila has always been there. It's it's just, you know, when I was getting involved with drugs, it, it kind of fleshes away your true self and you lose yourself and that's when things go bad. It's fine because I'm healed now. <laughs> I came here to conquer <laughs> and win, redeem my past a little bit, you know, show the world who I, I really am. After Casey passed away, she was very struggling with a lot of things. I think she, she kind of gave up. I do think there was that clear, distinct moment when Casey Johnson passed away and where Tila just really went on this spiral. Shortly after this interview, she went back to her outrageous rants on social media. She was suspended from Twitter for hate speech, but she continues to create accounts again and again. This is disturbing. I mean, she made this Instagram post. Wow, I've been locked out of IG since 2018. I'm back and look how everything I prophesized has come to pass because I am the supreme leader. YouTube also censored me for posting the truth about and used a very terrible slur for black people. Um, but I'll be back posting more truths there shortly. Got the earth and the people shook. <laughs> okay. Yeah, more like disgusted. You can also see that her Instagram bio was nasty, bringing up George Floyd, talking about some lightning striking it. Um, Worshippers tried to fight against me, so I called down the fires from heaven and God struck the George Floyd mural. 
She's disgusting. But of course, she tries to apologize her way out of it again. In June 2016, Tila Tequila has a Twitter meltdown after getting heat for racist Instagram posts. Now, there are a ton of nasty tweets here. I don't even really want to read them all. As you can see, all the liberals are true Nazis here. They've always been. She talks about black people and uh, mentions illegals when talking about uh, people who are, you know, um, immigrating here. Not cool. She also said she was previously under Jewish mind control and expressed that she thought her daughter might be in danger because people are racist against white babies. Even though her baby is not white, she is uh, Asian like you are, Tila. Tila Tequila had a space back then on social media, even though it was controversial. There was room for her, but there's no room for this anymore. This behavior, this rhetoric, and no matter how many times she tries to explain herself, the shock value, it's not working in this way, Tila Tequila, and I would completely rebrand and, you know, soul search if I were you. So, um, obviously, you know, uh, the nation is in chaos, and me being Deborah, um, I am the one appointed to make this decisions. I just started seeing, like, all these people like in Chicago. First of all, you guys know how I feel about Chicago. I really could care less about that place because it's filled with abominations. She's saying that this city is filled of abominations. Why? Really, why? I mean, she can't help but to be racist. I just saw the news that there's all these like I immigrants and, you know, illegal immigrants. They're, they think by, you know, by, uh, you know, like just all these, all these, you know, protests set up by people. It's all just satanic government agents. The problem with Tila Tequila is, well, one, she's saying absolute BS, but two, does this woman have any credibility? Like, why are you even, who are you talking to? She was, I mean, is anyone listening? Someone responded on social media saying, logic, hunt down illegals, which is what Tila believes. Stage name has a Mexican product in it, and she isn't even fully American herself. So really, where is the logic? I mean, she's not the you know most white woman out here, even if she wants to be. So why is she trying to cope by accepting this like, I don't know, this narrative, this reputation, like what makes her feel good about it? Or is she just so mentally ill that she doesn't know better? On Twitter she wrote, I don't really see anything great about JLo, she's just a Mexican with money. First off, Jennifer Lopez is Puerto Rican. If you did not know, she was like, right, you know, the Puerto Rican girl in the Bronx or whatever. So. I just, it's stupid. It's not even a fight to have. Tila Tequila is still on the internet and she's got some quite concerning beliefs. Despite her Instagram account being deactivated for hate speech, she dedicates a significant portion of her time preaching on her YouTube channel, where she professes to be the hidden bride of Christ. Her channel name is Queen Esther with about 6,000 subscribers. She has blamed everyone else except for herself for not taking accountability for some of her actions. And it's interesting to see that she is so delusional because back Back on reality TV, like maybe she was acting, but she at least seemed like, you know, fully with it. Here's a bizarre clip of Tila Tequila attempting to baptize her neighborhood kids in her bathtub and a grandmother intervenes. Okay. To baptize these children for uh, God's kingdom and they said yes, but the grandma came over here and told them they cannot be baptized. I have the water ready and everything and they're really sweet children of God. So I just want to make this testimony. Your mama said no. Can we get baptized tomorrow? Well, your mom is trying not. Do, you don't care about their salvation, ma'am? Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I don't try to make this on. I don't care about nothing that's going on with the Lord. See, I, you're hurting their, you're hurting no, their hearts. No, no, I just don't want to hear. I wouldn't want my children to go in a grown woman, a grown scary woman's bathtub. Argue because I don't like arguments. I know, but the devil doesn't want y'all to be saved, but God's trying to save y'all too. Uh, who the devil? The devil are the ones who don't want God's children to be baptized. baptized. What? So then I'm why don't you the want devil. them to be baptized, ma'am? I'm about to baptize them right it now. The I am the church. No, no, the Lord says, not. Peter, you are the church, and on this church, I will build the church and the gates. Ooh, I would move. <gasps> oh, gosh. An interaction with her? Please no. Like, I'd be like, oh, love to have her on the podcast. Actually, <laughs> I'd prefer not to, especially with her beliefs. Now in 2017, Tila posted a 23 minute long YouTube video stating that she signed a contract that she believes made her God, quote, whether it's Jesus, Allah, whatever. 
she said. My dumb self signed this contract without reading the fine print because I'm lazy like that. I signed my soul away to become God without reading the fine print. Okay, like, what type of, who presented this contract? She really felt like this contract was real and now she needs to assume the duties of God. One person wrote, I think she's crazy. She hit her head or had an overdose or something, which she did have that brain aneurysm. I mean, maybe that's when everything changed. This person writes, it makes perfect sense why she's trying to save others so she can feel like she has redeemed herself for all the bad she's done. All of those people who preach about Jesus are the worst sinners of us all. Hypocrites. Every last one of them. Ooh. Another person wrote, I don't think she stopped being a neo-Nazi and is trying to act Christian to make up for it. I think she's mentally ill. And another person brought up her accident saying that she had this brain you know, aneurysm that led to brain damage and she's not the same person. Though you can also admit that she was acting scandalous before that accident ever happened. Now in 2018, our newfound saved Tila Tequila decided to release a video from 2012 with God's go ahead concerning her departure from Hollywood. In the video, the reality star claimed she was possessed by Satan. She said, so back in 2012, I was in Hollywood and I was in the world of Satan. Tila claims that she passed away and the demons of Hollywood kept sending agents over to the house to get rid of her. She knew she had to leave Hollywood after the passing of her fiance, Casey Johnson, who she said Paris and Nikki Hilton sacrificed. That's a lot to unpack there. <sighs> wow. Can you imagine? I mean, Nikki was at the house after Casey Johnson passed and she was grabbing all those clothes. So could she have sacrificed her for some new clothes? I mean, that sounds far-fetched. Now in 2018, she got into a bizarre feud because she challenged Nikki tutorials saying that her weight and overall appearance wasn't uh, fitting. Saying nothing irks me more than fat chicks who pound on the makeup. They're already sinning grossly through gluttony. Then on top of that, they're full of vanity and deceit with all that cake on their face. But anyway, obese people's sin showed through their physical form. So they're sinning so much. Jesus. She's so nasty mean. I mean, wait until she finds out that Nikki Tutorials is trans. Then she's going to have a whole other rant. Speaking of, in 2018, Nikita Dragon was a target of Tila Tequila's. Tila posted a photo of Nikita on her personal Facebook page along with a critical post calling Nikita Dragon an abomination. She also was condemning all trans people and all people and men who like that post of Nikita, saying that they are all abominations. Hmm. Look in the mirror. Um, they also just banned me on Facebook for 30 days. You know, they can keep trying to ban me all they want, but you cannot ban God's word, the word of God. So no matter what, I'm going to keep on keeping on. So um, may the Lord bless you all. May the Lord forgive all of my enemies. May you guys find salvation and repentance so that you may, may be saved on the day of trouble, which is here, everyone. That day of trouble and judgment day is here. Now in 2024, it looks like Tila Tequila appears to maintain the same deeply troubled views. Though her Instagram account has been suspended due to hate speech, she's constantly posting on YouTube and Who's even really watching this? I hope nobody believes her. I was going to take a look at her YouTube channel and see if there's any updates, but it looks like as of now, she's been removed. I don't know how recent this is, but yeah, it looks like she's getting banned on YouTube too. Ooh. Tila Tequila has definitely had a wild history and her latest reincarnation doesn't appear to be much of an improvement from her former persona. Unfortunately, Tila Tequila is mentally ill and it looks like she's been using drugs up to last year. So. I hope she can get help. I hope she can find real God, the real God, not whatever God she's been in. You know, don't call yourself a God. And so like Kanye West, like over it, like really no one else is calling you that only yourself. So I want to hear what you guys think of this video in the comments below. What do you think of Tila Tequila? Did you used to watch her show back in the day? It was an absolute mess, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye guys. <laughs>
Are you the friend who always splurges on fancy coffee, the extra leg room on the flight, or indulge in a massage? Well, when it comes to your health, why settle for anything less than the best? I want to introduce ZocDoc, your ticket to finding and booking top-tier doctors who are prioritizing your well-being. ZocDoc isn't another app. It's your personal health care concierge with tens of thousands of highly rated doctors and verified patient reviews. You can rest assured knowing you are in good hands. No compromises here. Here, just the best health care options tailored to your needs. Forget about the long waits and awkward phone calls. With ZocDoc, you can instantly book appointments online with doctors who accept your insurance and treat your specific condition. Plus, the typical wait time, just 24 to 72 hours with same-day appointments available. Don't wait any longer to find your perfect doctor. Visit ZocDoc.com slash Sloan and download the app for free today. Take control over your health and book your appointment with confidence. That's ZocDoc doc z-o-c-d-o-c dot com slash sloan